Usually I do motivation on Mondays, but I haven't been doing it in a while, man. I've just been working in the dark. What I want to do with these next couple of, you know, I'm going to try this out for about, I don't know, as long as I can. I'm going to start doing motivation on Mondays, but I'm going to put these things on YouTube. You know, it's kind of like, I mean, I'm not copying anybody, but like, it's kind of like uh, Eric Thomas's uh, Thank God It's Monday. So, I'm going to start putting these speeches because they're a lot longer than they're going to be, than usually. And they're going to be pretty, you know, detailed. So I don't want to be, you know, holding the camera, you know, I just want to be to the camera, convey the whole message, you know, just get to the point, you know. So, yeah, every Monday I'm going to put up a new video, you know, give little messages here and there just to empower people from the valley. Empower anybody, just empower anybody, especially if you're Hispanic, you know, but it can be anybody, like, anybody. So, today's messages are going to be, let the word, like Eric Thomas says, let the word know excite you. Or, and I'm going to use my life experiences and my, uh, you know, my examples to convey the message. So, let the word know excite you. And also, let, don't cheat the grind. So, we're going to go on the first topic. So, a lot of y'all may know that I have uh, dreams of playing uh, Division One football uh, for the University of Houston, right? And, you know, I would say, like, you know, right, I'm, I'm still training for it. I've been training for the process. I would say, like, maybe I'll probably get my first trial probably in December, January. Probably won't play on the team until next spring or next fall, whatever. Like, not this fall coming up, but the next, next like, 2017 fall. So, um, I, a lot of y'all who follow Aranza Snapchat, um, it was about three, four, about four or five weeks ago. She put up a Snapchat of uh, the UH football team. So we went to a live practice, right? So there was a lot of, of school students there. Just you get to interact with the players, you know, get to talk with the players. You get to like, just be with the players in general. Like it's cool, you get to watch them, the whole practice. So when I was there, man, I felt like I belonged. I felt like I was meant to be there. And I started noticing like, cause all the fans basically, they were just like, you can tell who the fans were, you can tell who the prospects were. Like I'm talking about kids out of high school that were about to currently get a full right to the scholarship or people that wanted to play for the team. Like there was like, you can have, you had that differential, different, that like, you can see the difference in the people. Like, I don't know, it was just weird. It was just different locations where they were. So I noticed that most of the people, I'm not trying to be racial or anything, but most of the people were black, or other people were white. There were no Hispanics prospects, nothing. So when I was walking around, I caught a few, I caught up a good amount of eyes at me. And I'm not saying that they were looking at me because, oh, you know, that might be something good. No, I'm saying they were looking at me like if I didn't belong there. Like if, you know, it's a stereotype, Hispanics are meant to play soccer or whatever. But they looked at me like if I didn't belong there. And I remember this one dad, of this prospect just looked at me like with his face like why like why are you here and like honestly that like just the fact that they were like that or the fact that you know it happened to be like that honestly I grew fear like I started thinking what if I don't belong here what if what if I'm not meant to be here you know like I, even as I started telling her I don't want to be here like I can't do this no more like this and that and I started getting scared you know and that's the fear that really honestly diminishes a lot of people's crazy dreams like they're huge dreams there's big dreams you know those big dreams if you don't have dreams that don't scare you then you shouldn't be watching this video because i'm talking about dreams that scare you so in these dream in, in the i was scared right but honestly i started telling them to, i want them to, to not want me here i want them to look me in the eyes and feel like i belong because you know what i just work i work as hard and i could work even harder than they do so why don't I belong I'm gonna start looking at them like if they don't belong to me you gotta have the mentality you gotta have the mentality that every day you're gonna find your best every day you're gonna find the best you can be you're gonna try to get your greatest potential every single day you're gonna get to the spot like UT says so I told Anza and this is how the topic plays off I told Anza honestly the first time I ever try out I don't want them to cut me and y'all say why do you want to get cut like, obviously, you wouldn't you want to make a team? I'm not, obviously, I would love to make a team. But I want to get cut because I know being cut and then telling him no is going to excite the fuck out of me. It's going to excite me. It's going to push me to an even 
a more elevated grind, a higher level of training, you know, a higher determination, all this and that, because they told me no. That's what I'm talking about. Like, let the let people who don't believe in you tell you no, and let that no fear f- fuel you, f- fuel you to your dreams, because most times when you get no, you know, you get discouraged. You stop trying. You give up. You give in. But I'm trying to tell you that don't. You got to let the word no excite you. So whenever the next time they tell you no, just get excited. You know, just get fueled in a pumped and crazy, like, you know, just a crazy fuel inside you. Just that's going to empower you for your next, you know, whatever thing is you're trying to go for, your goal, whatever. Just use that as fuel. Second topic. Don't cheat the grind. A lot of people, you know, they they want success. And who doesn't want success? But a lot of us want handouts. And that's true. A lot of us want handouts. A lot of us don't want to work hard for that. And it's, it's just common. Like, we obviously, who would, who, would, who would want to take the easy way out? But the thing is, you can't cheat success. You can't cheat the grind. You have to put in the time. Like... For example, like it took you 21 years to be 21 years old, right? You can't, like it just, you can't, you can't cheat that. Like you can't cheat the grind. So what I'm saying is like, don't, don't look at it as where, you know, you think that, oh, I just want to be successful right now. Like you need to learn to wait. You need to learn to be patient. You need to learn to, to accept it. Like accept the fact that it's going to be a process. You can't, you can't rush the process. Trust the process. You have to just trust it and you have to go with it because that's how it's going to be. That's There's going to be a lot of failures and a lot of successes and there's going to be more failures and successes. And you're just going to have to keep grinding and keep going even if you don't want to give up. But you cannot cheat in the, cheat the grind. You can't. You have to put in that time. Put in that time for that goal to happen, you know? Like, I'm talking, like, most of the successful people, they put in that time. I'm not talking about the people who walked into success or who inherited money or whatever. I'm talking about the real people who changed the world. They really inherited, they, I mean, not inherited success. They really, you know, they failed a lot. And then they finally succeeded and they made it big. They changed the world, man. So, don't cheat the grind, man. Like, you just can't cheat it. You just got to stay with it. Stay with it. If you want to give up, stay with that process. Just keep grinding and keep going. Another thing is, so, a lot of y'all, you know, a lot of y'all know I'm Hispanic, right? My goal, and my determination, like my 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 world right now is the valley. Like my that's my world. Like that's my little world. Like a lot of you don't know. For those who follow me before know that I kind of change the world. So my right now, my goal right now is to change the valley's expectations. The valley, you know, it, I'm not trying to diminish the valley or anything, but there's just a little level of expectation. When you change your environment, you change your city. It's a different level of expectation, man. Like everybody, like. For example, like, I heard a guy once say, like, if you run with a bunch of slow people, you're always going to win and you're going to be the fastest or you're going to feel good about yourself. But you're never going to improve that time because you're never going to get pushed to a new level. But if you run with the people who are faster than you, you're always going to get last. But yeah, you're going to get last, but your time's going to start increasing slowly, slowly because they're going to push you to that newer level of success, a newer level of training. So... What I'm trying to say is, like, honestly, like, my goal here is to just show, like, I'm grinding out here just to, I'm not grinding for myself. I'm, I used to do that for myself, but I started realizing it ain't about me no more. It's about my mom. It's about my family. It's about Ramza. It's about the people who invested time in me, man, and their friends. It's about, you know, the valley. Like, it's like, I just want to grind so hard so much so I can prove that Hispanics can do what other people can do. Hispanics can go play Division 1 football. Hispanics can go to the NFL if they have those big city dreams or big whatever. Hispanics can be in a big elite college. Hispanics can do this, you know? And they have done that. Hispanics can do stuff. And people from the Valley can do that too. So I'm trying to change, you know, that small town mentality or that little Valley mentality that most of us from the Valley have. I'm trying to change that. Trying to change that. I'm talking about the valley for those who are new to what I'm talking about. The valley is, you know, South Texas. South Texas is close to the border of Mexico. So I'm trying to change that mentality for a lot of people. So when I go back this summer, I'm trying to, 
I'm gonna try to grind it out, you know, just really change people's mindset because that's my goal here in this whole Monday innovation thing. I'm trying to change your mindset. Like, why can't we do what those people have done? Why can't we be successful like them? They were just average human they are just average human beings like this. But what did they have? They had a goal and they had determination and they drove through that fire and they never gave up and they're now the top. And that's what we gotta have. We gotta bake through that little mental thing that we we can't we can only do a certain amount of thing and we have to settle for that. Just because you know we were born in this area this area or because we were raised up like this or because our race no you have to have that mindset and that mindset it's all your mental it's all a mental thing that's going to drive you to your levels so this is just a little sneak well i mean it was a 10 minute speech <laughs> a little sneak of what i'm going to be talking about every monday i think next week i'm going to stop talk about uh <sighs> what's your why you know so next week i'll talk about what's your why and I really appreciate you guys, you know, improve yourself, be obsessed with improvement, really elevate your mind, you know, like, I read almost every day, like, I have been reading, like, every day, crazy, I, read, I even read the good book, just the Bible, crazy. like, just elevate, just be obsessed with improvement, and learn to accept criticism, oh, you know what, I'm gonna, next week I'm gonna do what you why, and accept criticism, accept criticism, the topic on criticism, because a lot of people, and a lot of us, don't like criticism so yeah guys thanks for tuning in and this is my first video so i don't really know what to say like like thank you for watching